this is one of those tough things to tackle because um, it's controversial and I'm seeing a lot of back and forth and um, things that I actually just think that are not healthy going on online right now and um, there's a lot of texture discrimination talk um, some colorism is always going to be mixed in there because we still haven't addressed these issues the curly Nikki post and um, some people were just not understanding each side and I'm going to try to tackle both sides if I remember because my thoughts are kind of all over the place and for those of you who follow me um, and my sisters you already know this is not the first time we have tackled this actually um, November was one of the first times I really just kind of got into the good hair stuff um, and then I hit up relaxers perms and strip natural hair and then I we did colorism and then we did good hair again because we come from a multiracial family so we tackle controversial topics already but what is the difference because this is our first time we've talked about these things but um, it seems like whenever they're discussed in other ways it's just like a big deal and I think this is the key to um, the videos we made because it was tackling the same thing but it didn't have the same outcome they were actually well received um, great conversation in the comments below great stories and I think that's because of the approach and the approach I tried to make was to have a conversation discuss things in a healthy way and not go back and forth and argue because all that does is create more division but some people don't even agree about talking about it I'm like how it's just like you know um, just trying to put away your dirty laundry or um, you just cover it up I'm like but you're still gonna carry it with you so we have to discuss it and we have to reach a solution and um, I mean I think I know what the problem is I think I know what the problem is there's so many issues but I think one of the main things is that we don't know we don't know how to support each other We don't know, especially as black women, are we our own worst enemies? As women, are we our own worst enemies? Because we can't support another sister and we like to divide ourselves. And along with that support, so like I said, I'm trying to tackle both sides. Those that try to exclude others from, you know, being a part of the natural hair movement. And those that are just insensitive. And let's go to what I've seen a lot of today. And that is the curly Nikki post that is sparking some outrage on both ends um, of course we all know there was a pretty popular blog and there was the post that they posted of a white girl talking about um, how freeing it is to free yourself from her natural of her natural hair and what some people aren't understanding is why so why so many women felt the way they felt and let me just put it like this hmm I was trying to figure out how can I say this because we all I know there are those that try to exclude trust me I've been somebody tried yeah we've had people try to tell us we weren't kinky enough on our Facebook page and they were like why are you post the same three girls I'm like it's like a brand we're biological sisters you're gonna see us uh, your hair is not kinky enough like if they see a picture of my watch and go I'm not good enough to be natural but then if they see this it's more power more power to the natural hair movement so it's kind of like being four in that 4a category I don't like hair time but being in that 4 a category you kind of have like a mixture of both kinky curly so it's like you're not good enough whenever your hair is wet and you can put some gel on it and your edges lay but then my hair does this my hair likes this this is what this is how it behaves we are a 4a 4b mixture I don't care what anybody says I know my hair I know my hair does how it behaves I deal with it every day and you can't tell me that this isn't going to be some detangling power if I try to do a dry twist out right now trying to you know put some product through finger detangle or something like that is going to be a struggle anyways let me talk about how can I break this down like why so many people weren't understanding how she was feeling how not she was feeling how so many women were feeling and put it like this um let's say and how we can support each other let's say I had a friend and you know this could be a friend different race or whatever and she lost someone in her family very close to her like a parent or a sibling or someone who raised her like grandma or somebody like somebody that meant a lot and you know she lost them and let's say I have that has never happened to me I still have all of those people surrounding me all of those loving people that are important to me that's never happened to me I am going to be there to support her 
I am going, but I don't know. I don't understand her feelings right now because that has not happened to me. I don't understand what that feels like. And to be honest, I don't want to know what that feels like. Just like women who don't understand what the going natural, nobody said you couldn't say you had natural hair or anything, but the going natural part of it, you don't want to understand the pain behind um, why we had to go natural. So I'm not going to say, I know how you feel, such and such, because I don't, and I don't want to know. I don't want to know how you feel because I still want those people in my life, but since I'm here to support you, I am here for you, um, I will try to understand, I will try to empathize and understand your feelings, and I'm going to be there to support you. But what I am not going to do is go to her and pretend to know what she's feeling and her pain by going and telling her about the time my, uh, I lost my goldfish. Well, you know, my goldfish died and it really hurt really bad. No, ma'am. I'm not going to do that and try to make it about me. And well, look, well, look my goldfish died. No, I'm saying no. I'm just gonna be here. I'm going to support you and be here the best way I can. And if somebody says something insensitive or ignorant around you, I'm going to be here to have your back and squash that ignorance. Just like with sisters that never had a perm, or even women like I think in the girl's story it was like I bunned my hair and all of this stuff and now I wear my curls and I'm like I've seen your curls on TV and been they've been called beautiful but I mean if I'm like ma'am the going natural it's like some like some people don't even try to understand I'm like hey did, did you cry from perms constantly I mean somebody telling you you always need a perm because your nappy roots coming in crying having chemical burns as a little girl being kicked out of school because of your hair having a uh, military restrictions put on your hair losing jobs because of your hair not being considered beautiful because of your hair your own guys that look like you saying oh I can't date somebody got the nappy beady bees in her hair Women, even black women on rap songs sitting there talking about I don't like nappy headed whole stuff type stuff like that. I mean, I just don't hear it and I don't see it. So, I mean, you just kind of don't understand that struggle and that pain. But, I mean, you can't support us and I can't support you. But I'm not going, I mean, like, just like I said with a friend, I'm not going to pretend to know that struggle. But I'm going to support you. And there was another thing. I'm like, how does it hurt us to support another sister that doesn't look like us? And... We, I think on one side, we already do too much. Just being honest. Okay, so I um, also feel like a lot of it's just kind of stemming from what some people are not understanding is at a point when it before natural was what it is now going, the going natural movement. Like nobody said, like we invented the word natural. It's only for us, but the movement itself, um, it stemmed from a lot of women being rejected like in the real world like you're you're rejected in salons I'm not going to deal with your hair you're rejected at work that's not professional you're rejected at home why are you doing that you shouldn't do it it's going to be ugly you're rejected by boys I don't like nappy hair <clears throat> and even friends like oh girl why are you doing that and then you meet these women online you go online and these communities start to form where women are experiencing the same things and you're sharing tips and you're learning how to do your hair and now books are out about it and more products are available to you because you stopped buying the other products and people started to notice you started supporting these other businesses that actually cater to your hair and then all of these sites you love so much you kind of start seeing more um women with textures that kind of didn't have to go through that and you see less that look like you. And then I, I see, I feel the importance is there are still women that are going natural and they still need to see it. So I can see how that can be discouraging. And then um, you don't have a lot of power. And well, you do have power in the industry, but you're not represented this as much in an industry where you're spending billions and billions of dollars and black women spend billions of dollars in the hair care industry. But how much of it do we own? answer yourself that how much of that is going and how much is going in our communities it's like we start something but then it's taken over other races benefiting and profiting off of your hair care issues and i mean we are focusing on the wrong things and that money should be put back in our community especially like the amount of money we spend on hair so many people say it's just hair but obviously it is not just 
hair. Let me not just say we do it too much. Let me just say um, it's not reciprocated. I mean, those that are talking about being excluded from the movement or things like that are also not showing the ones that actually had to go natural a lot of love. It's almost like they form like little cliques or something. I look, I peep, I notice, I see, and it's like, how does it hurt you? Because I'm like, if I'm inspired by somebody, or if I get an idea, or my idea, like, and I did something about it there, how does it hurt me to say in my video, hey guys, I was inspired by such and such. This so, that forms a sense of community, and it's not like, like, we've been doing it a lot recently, but, I mean, we had, like, a video, I think, like, in 2012, when we were doing, like, this hair care series, where we were like, hey, y'all, go follow these blogs, and look at these people, and this, and this, and that, and they may have stuff that will help you, because, I mean, some... Actually, me and my sisters, we don't use the same products. And I mean, I'm like, y'all, this is a great product. And they're like, oh, I tried it. I don't like it. But somebody who has a totally different hair texture for me likes the same exact conditioner I like. Same exact deep conditioner I like. So, I mean, there are some things you can learn from other ones. But if you want to see someone that looks like you and you want to see more of your hair texture represented, you need to go and support the ones that look like you as well because I already see you support the other ones. I can see it. Those pictures get a lot of the likes. Those videos get a lot of the views. Um, I mean, we had an Afro video. I remember Cormie did an Afro video. I was just like, I love her, bro, and the way she does it, but this is not going to be a popular video because nobody's really looking up how to pick out their fro. So it's kind of like, okay, and then... Um, you may I may not understand the 4C struggle and the 3C system may not understand the 4A struggle, but I'm like, we can all support each other. I mean, I can still go and enjoy your videos and like them. How does that hurt me? It hurts us when we don't. So it's kind of like, it's not like, oh, well, all let's all 4C click up, let's all 4A click up, and let's all 3C click up and not support the other ones. That's hurting us as a community. And then we wonder why we don't see all of the channels and all of the pages grow because you don't go and like all of them, especially the ones that you can really relate to. You kind of go to the ones where it's kind of like, I wish my hair, but if somebody's really giving you some tips, regardless, go support them. Regardless of the complexion and all of this, I mean, go support them and don't try to exclude. I mean, especially somebody is trying to empathize with you and say, hey, I understand. They may not look like you, but... They have your back, like, I mean, like I said, I may not understand this is a struggle over here, but if somebody, when I'm wearing that wash and go, it's like, ooh, you have good hair. I can't mess with that, nappy this, nappy that, da da da. I'm going to stop you and I'm going to have a talk with you and I'm going to, we're going to figure out why we're saying things like that and, why we, and talk about why we shouldn't say those things. I'm not going to take that as a compliment and I see too often that some that are already on that pedestal think those are compliments and it's not right. That's not for, I'm like, why should somebody else have to be put down for you to be built up? And I mean, that goes along with the supporting and shouting somebody out. How, I mean, how does it hurt me? I'm confident in what I do. I feel like I put out, you know, we can put out some good things and you put out something great. How does it hurt me to support you? I still believe I can do great things and I believe you can do great things. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's almost kind of like we just, oh, well, she may have a one-up on me, so I don't want nobody to tell anybody about her. So, um, that's that. Um, let me talk about a story how some of these things are how they are har harmful whenever you don't talk about them like uh, like I'm a, I'm a school teacher and a lot of these videos you'll hear me talk about something that happened to me at school or something that happened with my students because it's everyday stuff so um, like 12 minutes okay I'm trying to do this in like 15 minutes I really don't want to edit this so I'm going <laughs> to so I'm going to try to uh, just talk and post I'll tell you a story about what happened in my classroom one day well, these, um, this group of four students, they all had dark, had a dark complexion. They were all working at a table one day, and um, I overheard their conversation. And as a teacher, you hear so much, and a lot of it you don't want to hear. But this is what I hear. One of the girls is on the meaner side. She was a little meanie. It's two girls and two boys. The other girl is really, really sweet. Um, but, the, but the boys were really sweet as well. Well, Miss Meanie Pie over here, this is what she says, and I kind of look up like this. She goes to one of the boys, I guess they had, oh, I don't know, they're cracking jokes or whatever. She, um, she wasn't being nice about this, though. She was like, that's why you as black as this crayon. Huh? What? I was like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with it? And she was like, huh? I said, you said it like there was something wrong with him being the color that crayon, which, let me remind you, she had the same complexion he did. Um, and she said it like it was a problem. And he was like, he just kind of looked at her. 
And I said, no, 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 no. Tell me what is bad about that. You said it like it was a problem. And she was just like, oh, no, it's not bad. I mean, just trying to cover up a lie, cover up with a lie. And I pulled both of them aside and talked to them um, one on one. But I pulled him aside and I, oh, I sent his mom an email because I was so glad that he was so, so sure and secure of himself and his comfortable in his skin because I asked him, I said, um, you know, how did the comment make you feel, blah, 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 blah. He was like, it didn't bother me at all. I'm like, I don't, you know, it didn't bother me. I don't believe what she says. And I'm like, perfect. This is exactly what I was saying. I'm like, your skin, I'm like, no, don't let anybody ever tell you there's something wrong with your skin. Your skin is beautiful. It is gorgeous. His skin, I mean, just flawless, complexion, beautiful. So I pull her aside and just trying to get to like, okay, but so why would you say something like that? Because the thing is that, she was the same complexion so what she was putting off on him was really how she felt about herself and not even realizing it because they were the same complexion i'm just kind of like when will this stop but it'll stop maybe she will never make that comment again i don't know but maybe she'll think twice before she says something like oh, that like it was black and blah, 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 blah. that's the thing i mean it i i am a, a like a in between with textures because I'm kinky, cur kinky and curly and same with complexion but if I see it I'm going to address it and I believe that's how we can really start to bring about change because there are power there's power in numbers so if you are out there addressing the ignorance and I mean in a manner where we're not fighting and we're not arguing but just kind of like hey hey why did you say that you know that you know that can hurt that's not a good thing to say regardless of what you look like i mean if somebody is putting somebody else down just to compliment you you're like hold up pump your brakes have several toilet seats so um let's just sit down and talk about it and i'm like i think that's what we have to do so um yeah this video is now at 16 something minutes and if you've hung out with me this long thank you so much um i'm, I'm sure i'm gonna have to have part two because there are some things i left out um yeah i mean support the people that like you if you don't want to be portrayed a certain way if you don't think you know black women are always considered you know being catty and fighting all this other time you know all this stuff and kind of like me and attitudes if you if that's not you and you don't want to be portrayed like that don't support the shows that portray us like that don't support the artists if they're talking about oh i don't like black girls i don't like nappy head only deal, deal with light skin don't support them you're paying them you, you know you are paying them when you go out and buy their music if the company doesn't cater to your hair texture or they don't have products that work for you, don't support them. I mean, don't go buy, you know, buying products that you know are not going to work for your hair. I mean, I'm just saying. You know that it's not going to work on your hair. So, I'm just, you know, there are, there are so many things I wanted to address, but I hope I hit some key points. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. God bless.